What's up guys, it's your boy Willie Brapp and today we're gonna learn how to wash this dirty motorcycle. Let's go. Step one, you gotta get a dirty motorcycle. So get out there on those knobbies and get some mud. Step two, this, a beautiful hose. But you gotta turn on the water. Step three, turn on the water. Oh yeah, all the way up, oh, oh, oh yeah. Step four, take your choice of car wash in the bucket and wash out the bucket. Now take your car wash and pour it in just a little bit because it's a bike, not a car. Take hose and get it nice and oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, she said, get it nice and foamy, guys. Get it, uh, all in there? No, no, no. Oh yeah. And once it's once it's nice and foamy, go ahead, wash off your shitty, disgusting brush. Just dunk it in there. Step five: take dirty motorcycle and wash. <laughs> Work your way from the top down. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Just put it between your legs like a fucking a dick and just pee all over just pee all over show her that you own her just show her oh yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah get it nice and good nice and good nice and good now once you're satisfied with how wet your dirty bitch is you want to come over to the box of soap and uh if your bike has like legit paint, uh, do the two bucket method where you, uh, so you got it, you get it nice and nice and foamy like this. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then instead of dunking it into the same bucket to uh, get all that good stuff out, uh, so you wipe her down, whatever. And then the two bucket method would be you take it and put it in a clean bucket, then put it back in the soap. It's plastic. I don't really care about that much. I'm just going back in for soap. So now you just gotta, you just gotta scrub roll down, scrub, 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 scrub. Oh yeah, just oh yeah. make sure not to get any of your electronics if you have any, or make sure the covers are shut. Just oh, oh, oh. all over. Oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. oh yeah, make sure you get those forks. Oh yeah, just get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. Get them, get them. Oh, then uh, I'm just gonna ring it out each time. Oh, okay. Swing arm. <laughs> Header. Oh yeah, you also don't really want to do this on the bike hot. Just because, obviously, if it's hot, no bueno for you. I'm trying to get all the mud off. Oh my god. She's so dirty. Oh. <laughs> Come back over to bucket. Dip. Get it nice, nice and sloshy. So you like her. Keep just, just scrub her everywhere. Get that head, that cylinder head. Oh yeah, turn signals. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Guards. Shocks. Shock guards. Discs. You don't really need to do, but discs. And then you wanna you wanna get down. Just oh yeah. Then you don't really want to get the chain that much, because that's gonna take off your lube. So try and stay away from the chain. Come over here, get this, get that license plate nice and clean. Don't want the cops coming for you. So now, you're heavily winded. What you want to do is you want to rinse her off again. So, take water, turn on, rinse. Now, uh, we worked with Top Gun. What it, what it does is it makes sure that the mud and the nastiness that you, uh, that you already washed off, you don't have to like, more or less wash it twice. So, it's just, a, it's just an easy way to do it. And if you got like toys and shit, pull that out as much as you can. Get under that, so you feel like pretty dirty. Just wash it down. It's really well. You treat your bike well, so treat you well. It's kind of my motto. Once you just get her, get her real good. You dry her off, which is the next step in the sequence. The last step is get towels and clean as follows. 
exactly as follows. You can't mess it up in any way, shape, or form, or else it's completely wrong. Do those, do that, do that, do this, get the seat, oh yeah. Honestly, it doesn't fucking matter, just wipe her down. It's just water. <laughs> um, you can use microfiber tiles on it all if you're if you really want to, I'm not. I'm just doing microfiber on like the glass and the uh, the gauge clusters and stuff. But I'm just trying to get the majority of surface water off everything anyways. So make sure all your electronics that aren't necessarily waterproof are good. Um, it's also a good idea to never directly spray force water at electronics I probably did but whatever um, just because they're made for rain they're not necessarily made for a jet force of water so by doing that you might uh, fuck up something pretty bad <laughs> so be careful <clears throat> yeah the speak right here oh yeah oh yeah clean her off try not to be looked at weird just kidding if you're not being looked at weird you're you're washing your bike wrong once you do that, throw a towel on the ground because it's dirty. You're washing anyways. Grab microfiber. Here's here's the nice part. The nice part about washing a bike. You get those those nice those nice circular motions. Nice circular circular. Mm -hmm. Then you get in then all the uh, the cracks and crevasses, crevices as uh, some people like to say. And uh, you were done washing your bike. Now there's a last step. And that's to go get her dirty again. Because what's the point of having a bike? A dual sport or an adventure bike especially. If she's not dirty. But so, um, washing it, I would just do it every so often. If you're going to do chain lube, chain cleaning, whatever. Wash it before. This entire bike, you might as well. Uh, the reason I'm washing it is because I'm going on travel. For about two weeks. Um... I mean, I'll still be uploading videos, but just uh, the reason why is because she's dirty and I don't want dirt to sit on her for two weeks while I'm not riding her. So that's it. Just remember, just remember to shove it in that exhaust pipe. Just finger that exhaust pipe. And that's all, guys. I'll see you next time.